and good morning, everybody. It's good to see you. So I want to touch in today. I want to talk about like if you're at a place where you're like, oh yeah, I would love to leave my job. I've got to make a plan, right? What's the very first step you should take, right? So let's let's toss out some of the options. Um, people th will talk about your resume. They'll say, hey, listen, I should put together a resume, or I should go search for other jobs, or I should go reach out into my network and you know talk to people and see you know this or that or maybe get in touch with a headhunter that's another one people say oh i should find a headhunter and talk to them right and i should just kind of put myself out there and then hopefully at some point this will all come together and you know occasionally that can work you know i not as it doesn't work as often as you think i'd say probably less than 10 percent of the time does that yield the the, the desired solution because the thing is that the first step is missing. And the first step is not anything practical. Like all other things in life, the first step happens within. So let's take, if, you, if you're Michelangelo and you're gonna paint the Sistine Chapel, is the first step to get your paints? Is the first step to go look at the chapel and set up your like little um, gurney thing that you're gonna be painting on? Is the first step to go do the plaster? No, none of that's the first step. The first step, if you're going to paint the Sistine Chapel, is to see in your mind what it's going to look like and make the decision that that's what you're going to do. So the first step to leaving your job, it actually, the first step is the decision and then the visualization. So the first step to leaving your job is making the decision that this is going to happen. Because if you don't do that, then the rest of it's going to be half-ass. I've seen people... You know, they'll put together their resume and they're like, oh, listen, you know, this is what's going on. And they'll put it out there and then they won't send it. You know, they won't send it to, they'll say, oh, well, I, I sent out two or three job applications. If you're planning to leave your job, you're going to have to send out more than two or three in all likelihood because they're half-assing it. The other one I'll see is people, they'll say, oh, yeah, I put together my cover letters and my resumes and I, I applied to 60 jobs. I've literally heard people say 60 jobs. I say, okay, great. How many of those had a unique cover letter for each one? And they'll be like, oh, well, no, they were all kind of like copy-paste cover letters because they're half-assing it. They have not made the firm decision that I am definitely leaving. I am definitely going to do something that really fulfills me. I am definitely getting out of this toxic situation. And because they haven't done that, because they haven't made this firm decision, they're just hoping that, you know, everything will fall into place. They don't do what is necessary, right? They don't take the action that is necessary. Right, because people want, they want to say, hey, listen, what they're saying, they're telling themselves, I'm only going to leave if it's convenient. I'm only going to leave if there's a red carpet for me to go somewhere else. And that's not the way the world works. It's just not, right? It's not the way that, you know, it doesn't generate what you're going, it doesn't generate the motivation in you, and it doesn't generate the reaction from the rest of the world, right? So what happens if you, the, the, the alternative is defiant commitment where you say, I'm leaving no matter what. I'm going to create a life that I love no matter what. And if you do that, then things do change. The first thing that happens is you take things seriously. You take things seriously. You put together a really strong resume. You put together unique cover letters and you put them out to a dozen jobs because you say, no matter what, this is going to happen. I need to do it right right i am not going to be in this job this toxic burnout situation in three months come hell or high water i'm not going to be here so i do need to get really serious about doing the rest of the work and the second thing that happens is the universe will bend i know that sounds crazy i know it sounds woo, -woo. i get that right but it's true if you're in a place of defiant commitment if you're in a place of determination then it's going to affect all kinds of things. You're going to see opportunities you would not otherwise see. People are going to sense your determination and they're going to present you with opportunities that you would not otherwise see, right? And even things that people will chalk up to luck or chance will go your way when they otherwise wouldn't. Things would align that otherwise wouldn't because you have that determination, right? Ultimately, at the end of the day, that that is the starting point is that firm decision that come hell or high water you're done and then yes the next step is the visualization 
The next step is, hey, listen, what do I want in getting? Because the clearer you get on where you want to go, the less you're going to flounder. Again, the more motivation you're going to have, the more people are going to say, oh, wow, I know exactly something that's right for you. If you're just like, hey, listen, I just got to be somewhere else, anywhere else, you know, mm -hmm. Right then, then there's no specificity. There's no power. There's no motivation to yourself because you don't have a clear goal to strive towards. There's no motivation for other people to connect you because they don't really know what you're about, right? And and fundamentally, the you know luck and chance in the universe are not going to be able to operate as powerfully around something like that because there's no clarity, right? So the decision comes first, then the visualization, then the clarity. And then all the practical stuff, then the resumes, then the networking, then the headhunters, then the business planning, then all of these other things fall into place. And you meet them with a lot more power, a lot more motivation, a lot more certainty, and a lot more persuasion because people see what's going on, right? That's the difference. So in summary, guys, you can't sit there and say, hey, listen, I'm unhappy. I'm going to move when it's convenient. I'm unhappy. I'm going to move when something else comes up, right? And people get trapped in the, well, you know, I've got to pay the bills. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. I'm not saying you don't have to pay the bills, but I'm saying that if you make the decision that there's going to be a change come hell or high water, then knowing you have to pay the bills is what's going to be a kick in the ass, and a, you know, and a fire under your tush to go and actually do what's necessary and do it right, right? Those two don't have to exist mutually exclusively, right? So you can say, hey, listen, I'm definitely leaving and I've got to pay the bills. Ergo, I'm going to go all in on this. I'm going to do this right. And I'm going to create the life that I'm meant to live instead of living in somebody else's cubicle. Okay. Until that decision is made, nothing will change. I've talked to so many people and they want it, but they don't want it badly enough because they haven't made the decision. So if you've made the decision, you say, hey, listen, it's got to change. I just don't know how. I need some help. Then that's why I'm here. That's what this group is about. You can reach out to me over private message. You can reach out to me over email. Um, you can go to, I have, I have the link where you can schedule a call. So you can go here, this is the link, www.oculusinstitute.com slash scheduling. There's a free webinar, all that stuff. I'm here to help you provide the how. But it always starts with you making this, the decision. So guys, that's what I want you to keep in mind. Make the decision. Don't just say, hey, listen, it's only going to happen when it's convenient because that in and of itself is making the decision not to change. Saying, I'm only going to I'm only going to make a move when it's easy. I'm only going to make a move when something comes up. That is a decision to choose the status quo. Right. There's no getting around that. A lot of people think that they're just putting it off and, hey, you know, that's what it's going to be. But that is a decision to accept the status quo for another week, another month, another year, another 10 years. And that's what I've seen people do. And it breaks my heart because I don't want to see people in suffering. I don't want to see people in that situation. So guys, really think about it. Get honest with yourself, get real, and make the decision to go after what you really want. And then from there, the rest will follow, right? Thanks guys. Hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you this week.